Hi, it's Kevin with Coopman Lumber Rentals. Today we're going to be explaining the use and operation of the plate compactor. This particular one has a wheel kit which makes it easier for transporting the machine. Once you're at your job site and ready to start compacting, easiest way is to make sure this is locked into position here on that handle. Rock the machine forward, let the wheels fall out the back side. At that point, you're ready to undo this, and it flips down and holds the wheels up out of the way for compacting. Once you're ready to start the machine, all of the controls are on this side of the machine. So you on switch up under here. You choke the gray lever to the left for starting. Make sure your fuel is in the right to the on position, and that the throttle is in the minimum. Once it's started, you can move your choke back to the right. When you're ready to compact, you can throttle the machine up. These are directional compactors, so once you start compacting, you'll feel it wanting to move in the forward direction. So you want to make sure that you don't work yourself into a corner. Better to start in the corner or make the turn before you get into your corner. On the front side, this is a water tank. You can open this and fill it with water to use as additional compacting weight or you can move the red lever on the side to the open position and it will dispense water down on the front to keep it from sticking to whatever you're compacting. Better when you're compacting, especially gravel or asphalt, to have a garden hose that you spray everything down with lightly that you're going to be compacting. It does dispense water out the front, but not at a very high volume. 